Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Nest.js tutorial for beginners. In the previous videos, we have seen how we can create our Nest.js project and how we can add the endpoints uh, to our Nest.js framework. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can add the MongoDB support to our Nest.js API. So we are going to start with uh, the installation of the required packages. So I'm going to just write npm i hyphen hyphen save and then you need to add these two packages which is uh, nest.js forward slash mongoose and the mongoose package itself. So mongoose. Okay and then press enter. Now once you are uh, done with uh, the installation of the packages, we are going to go to the main app.module.ts. So this is the app.module.ts and here we are going to first of all uh, import uh, some packages from the nest uh, mongoose package and which uh, module we want here, we want to uh, import the mongoose module from the nest.js uh, mongoose package okay and once you have this you can uh, use this mongoose module in order to connect to your mongodb database so here you can see under modules we have imported already our car module which we have created previously and now we can also add the support for the mongoose module so just uh, copy this mongoose module dot in mongoose module you have a few methods so we are going to use this method which is called for root which is going to take your mongodb uri as an argument so if you are familiar with mongoose uh, or mongodb uh, we can connect to our mongo database using this uri so here uh, as the uri i'm going to just write uh, mongodb and then colon forward slash forward slash localhost because I will be using my uh, mongodb which is running on my uh, local host and then the name of your uh, database. So let's name our database as uh, car manager. Okay. Also you can uh, add uh, some of the options which mongoose takes uh, at the time of the connection but we are going to add these later if we require them okay now what i uh, i'm using is i'm using the docker instance of mongodb you can uh, install mongodb locally or if you are running uh, mongodb on a server uh, you can provide the uri of that server also right so for now i will be using the docker to use mongo on uh, my mac machine and the command for this is docker run hyphen p uh, this is the port mapping of mongo on which uh, we are going to listen using the local host and this will be the location where we are going to save our uh, mongo uh, data in our local machine using uh, the docker right so let's run this you can also write the uh, hyphen d here to run this uh, uh, mongodb uh, container in the detached mode but uh, I will run it uh, as a separate instance so you can see it's running and now I'm going to open a new uh, terminal and I will just write docker ps here and you can see this uh, mongodb instance is already running so I'm going to just write docker exact hyphen it and the name of the container or container id also you can give and then uh, space bash so using this command we are just opening the bash terminal inside the container right now uh, i can just give uh, the command mongo in order to connect to my uh, mongodb and here i can just say show dbs and it's going to show me the list of all the databases so right now it has uh, these three uh, databases which are uh, created by default and we, when we are going to run our app it's going to create this uh, database also okay so now we have our uh, mongo database connection 
Now we are going to create the schema for our uh, MongoDB. So for that, uh, I can create a separate file inside this car uh, directory or I will create a folder, let's say, and I will name it as schemas. And inside the schemas folder, I will add all my schemas. So the first schema will be car.schema.ts, for example. And here I will first of all import the mongoose uh, package. So import asterisk as mongoose from mongoose, right? So because we want to create the MongoDB uh, schema using mongoose, we will import this uh, package. And then we are going to just create the schema. So I'm going to just write uh, export then const and then the name of my schema will be let's say car schema and we are going to create a new schema so i'm going to just write new mongoose dot uh, schema and then we are going to uh, add our schema inside these parentheses so i'm going to just add uh, these curly brackets and then we can add our schema here. So what we have in our schema? So in our schema, we have, uh, we can see uh, the DTO. So we are going to use the same attributes inside our schema. So we can just copy and paste uh, them here. And for now, I'm going to remove uh, this read only attribute from here. And because it's a JSON object, we need to replace this semicolon by the commas right we can also fix all the auto fixable problems and this will be capital number because we are creating the mongo uh, db schema using mongoose right so we will use these uh, data types now i can also add uh, the car interface which i will use for the mongodb uh, model or mongoose model so let's uh, create the interfaces folder inside our car uh, directory. So I'm going to just write interfaces and then press enter, which is going to just create this uh, interfaces uh, folder. And inside the uh, interfaces folder, I'm going to just write car dot interface dot ts. Here I'm going to import the documents from the mongoose uh, package so let's add a mongoose package and then we will add this document from mongoose and then i'm going to create an interface called icar for example so let's uh, name it as icar which will extend so extends uh, from document and here we can add a uh, the interface types which are id brand uh, color and model same as our dto okay so once we have our uh, interface and schema we can go to our uh, services car.services.ts file and we are not going to uh, use this logic anymore we will add uh, the mongodb logic but first of all we need to uh, add our uh, schema and our interface, right? So let's add those things. So I'm going to just import. So first of all, I'm going to import the model from the mongoose package. And then I'm going to import the nest JS mongoose package, right? So let me just uh, add this nest JS mongoose package and from here i'm going to import the inject model okay and the next thing we uh, want to uh, import is the interface which we have created so i'm going to just uh, import that interface and this will be the car interface and what we need to uh, import i car and also let's import the DTO because we are going to use that uh, DTO. So let's import that, which is called car DTO. And we need to import the car DTO from there. 
Now in the constructor of our service, so let's uh, first of all delete all this logic which we have created uh, in the previous video when we have seen how we can add the logic uh, for all these uh, uh, method which are put car by id, delete car by id, post and uh, then get cards, right? So let's uh, remove all the logic from here and also we don't need uh, this cars uh, uh, mock data so we can just remove that also. So first of all we are going to add the constructor here and in the constructor in order to uh, import the MongoDB model which we have created using the schema we need to uh, just uh, add this decorator which is inject model and then inside these brackets we need to give the schema name which is car in our case I think so we are going to just write car here and then we are going to just write private uh, read only uh, the name of our model will be car model for example and the type of this uh, model will be the model which we have imported from the mongoose and then we can just write the i car here okay and also we need to add these curly brackets so this is how you can inject this car model inside your uh, service and then we can implement car uh, get uh, cars uh, method logic using this model so i'm going to just write const cars for example and then we can just write this dot car model which we have just injected and then we can use uh, different methods so we want to find out all the cars so we can just write find and then we can just write exec and it's going to give us uh, the list of all the cars and then we can just return this card so let's return this now of course you can again add the error handling here so here if the car is not found so if there is uh, uh, no cars and then also we can uh, check if the first element is there inside our cars uh, array otherwise it's not an array right so we can just check that and if we don't find this then we need to throw an error so we can just write throw new uh, HTTP exception right and we can just uh, give the first argument which is uh, not uh, found and the second argument will be 404 which is the status code right so this is uh, how you can also add the error handling for your uh, get cars now in the post car method what we uh, want to do we want to post the or save our car object so here we are going to just write const car is equal to uh, await because uh, we are using mongoose uh, using async await so we need to add uh, async here and then await here and then this dot car model dot uh, uh, whatever object we want to pass here so we want to pass uh, the car so we have created the new uh, car object and now we just need to save this data so i can just write uh, return uh, car dot save and this is going to save this data and here as an argument we can just write uh, new car because the name here is conflicting right so i'm going to just write new car here and then pass this uh, parameter here so this conflict can be solved also i forgot to add a sync await here in the get cars so i'm going to just add that and then it's going to work now for the get car by id also we are going to use this kind of uh, code so let's uh, copy this code from here and also add uh, a sync here and instead of using find we will just use a find uh, 
one method. We just need to change uh, find to find one because we want to uh, find on the basis of the ID. So using this curly bracket, I will just use ID here and it's going to find the data based on this ID because we are just uh, searching for only one uh, data. So it will not be an array. So we can use other logic for that, which is like this. If there is no car found, then we can throw an error. Otherwise, we will uh, return the result. We can use the same code for delete car by ID. We just need to add the async here. And instead of uh, find one, you use delete one, delete one, right? How do we know that the car is deleted? We uh, know this by using car dot delete count. So car dot uh, delete count. If this delete count is equal to zero, that means our uh, data is not deleted. Then we can uh, throw the not found error. Otherwise, we can return the car right and the last method will be once again put car by id so a sync here once again we can use the same logic we just need to change this method here so let's use this uh, logic instead of using find one we will just use find one and update method so just write find one and update and we want to find the uh, result by ID which is OK and the second argument here will be what we want to update. So we want to update a single property inside that uh, object right. So based upon the property name we will be able to change it. So I'm going to just uh, add this uh, curly bracket and then I'm going to add this square bracket and based upon the property name I want to change the value from here. Let me fix all the Yes, lint errors and now we have all the methods also if you want to add the type to your uh, car uh, parameter here to the post car argument you can add the type to your car right also we can add uh, the promise type here also so I'm going to just write uh, promise and the type here will be car DTO but it will be an array of uh, car DTO, right? And uh, in the get cars by ID, we are returning only the car DTO, which is the sim single uh, result, right? So in car get cars, we are returning the array of car DTO uh, type, and uh, in the get car by ID, we are returning uh, car. Same you can do for a delete car by ID. And you can do the same for the put car by ID. Now there is one last step which is remaining, which we want to do in the car.module.ts file. So go to the car.module.ts file. And here we are going to import some uh, nest uh, packages. And we are going to first of all import the nest JS mongoose. And from the nest JS mongoose, we want to import a module called uh, mongoose module and also we need to import our schema right so we will just go to our schemas and import our mongodb schema from there so car schema and then we can just import this and and now we can uh, import our uh, mongodb schema inside our car module so you can just add imports and using this uh, square bracket, you can add the mongoose module and mongoose module. And then inside mongoose module, you need to use the for feature method. And then as the parameter for this for feature, we need to add uh, the parameters as an array. So the first uh, uh, element here will be the name. Let's say name is a uh, car in our case. And the second argument here will be the schema. So schema is the schema which we have imported, which is car schema. And also add the comma here. And we can uh, just resolve all ESLint problems. Hopefully it's going to work. So let's uh, run our code and let's see if everything works or not. So I'm going to just write npm 
start and let's see if it works or not. Right now uh, our uh, app is started. We can go to our Mongo client also and see if there is any database created or not. So right now till now until the start of the uh, app there is nothing created here. So let's uh, use our uh, uh, postman to post something. So I'm going to just uh, post uh, one other car with the ID 2 and brand color and model. Let's send this request and you can see that now we have added this into our database and we also get the result with the ID and uh, hyphen hyphen V also. So now this a a data is added to our database. We can check it. So once again, I will just write show DBs. Now I can see that this database is created. So I can use use car manager and then uh, we can just write show collections to see all the collections. We only have one collection which is cars which is okay and then we can write uh, db dot our collection name which is cars dot find which is going to show you all the uh, elements of your uh, uh, collection right. So you can see there is one data which is added to our database which is the brand VW color red and model polo which we have added using this uh, post request. Let's add one more element with ID 1 let's say brand will be BMW and the color will be something and the model will be uh, BMW X. And now I'm going to just send this request and you can see it's also added and now I can just uh, use this find and now we can see there are two documents inside our MongoDB collection. So the put method is working. Let's uh, see if get cars method is going to work. So it's going to give us a list of all the cars and it works. You can see we are getting the list of all the cars. Now we want to uh, use the get car by ID. So I want to uh, uh, send this request which is uh, uh, for the car with the ID 1 and it's going to give me the result that's working. Let's uh, query for the car with the ID 2. It also works. Now I want to uh, do some put method. So let's say I want to change the property name color in the car ID 2 with the blue color. Right now the car ID 2 have the color red, right? So let's send this request and you can see it's working or not working. So still the color is red and we can also query here and here the color is changed to blue. Okay, so this uh, edit is working but somehow the result here is red because we are just sending let's go to the service because we are just sending our car which is found right so you can see our method name here is find one so it's going to find the uh, document by id so it has found the document by, by id and return us the document which will be changed and then it will update the property okay so this is also working as expected, right? So inside our database, its uh, color is blue, which is okay. And let's use the delete method to delete uh, this document. So I want to delete the document with the ID 2. Let's send this request. And you can see deleted count is equal to one. That means it's deleted. And that means when we go and query our database, you can see we have only one document here. Okay, so delete is also working. There is one little annoying thing uh, which is you can see when we query for our data, the default ID which is created is also coming and uh, this hyphen hyphen V is also coming. So let's say we want to filter out these two things because for us these four elements are important and this is 
the unwanted uh, data which is uh, coming from the MongoDB, right? So for this, we can uh, create the projections. So in the car service, go at the top and then we are going to just write const uh, car projection and then is equal to uh, curly bracket and here we can uh, just add whatever projection we want. So we want to filter out hyphen hyphen v so we can just write uh, hyphen hyphen v false. Also we want to uh, filter out the id so underscore id and then it will be also false okay. So this is our projection and this projection we can add to the get cars methods here uh, as the second argument. So we are going to just uh, add a blank curly bracket here and as the second argument of the find we can add this projection. Also in the get cars by id we can add as the second argument this cars projection or this projection is going to filter out the underscore underscore v and underscore id from your result. So let's uh, run our uh, app once again. I'm going to stop and rerun it and once it's going to run we will see if our projection is working or not. So it's running now. Let's get all the data. So previously as you can see we were getting underscore underscore id and underscore hyphen v. Let's send this again. Now we have only the data which we want because we have added the filter for that using projections, right? So I think that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.